Hey guys, it's Olavids, and today I want to talk about the possibility of Star Wars being in Kingdom Hearts. This one's a ramble, this one's going to be the top of my head, so it's going to be just my thoughts on the subject. Uh, just right now, right here, right now. Anyway, so Star Wars in Kingdom Hearts, that's been a possibility for a while now, and according to a certain section of the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, the first one, uh, people are speculating that that is Endor, or that is Star Wars with the uh, at, -AT foot. And I don't know if it's true. I'm not going to say it's confirmed until they actually confirm it. Uh, but let's say that it's true. So let's say let's say this puts us on Endor because it looks kind of like Endor, right? I don't know where else it would be in terms of like the main nine movies. Uh, but it looks kind of like Endor. And I'd imagine, yeah, you probably want to put some in the original trilogy if you want to bring in Star Wars to Kingdom Hearts. That would make sense. So yeah, somewhere in the original trilogy, if it's on Endor, this would be Episode Six. So what would the storyline be for this world? Well. If it's Endor, then you're probably going to be t either teaming up with Han Solo, Princess Leia, and the rest of the Rebels to take down the shield generator, or you're going to be teaming up with the Flight Squad, Lando, all of them charging into the Death Star, which I doubt, because, I mean, I mean, they could put, like, a fly minigame in there. Uh, but anyway, you could do that, or you could be with Luke, with Vader, and Palpatine. Uh, now, one thing is, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, Luke, Palpatine, and Vader, that's the main big event. That's the whole big climax of the movie, really. But I don't know if I would want to put Sora in there. I don't know, like, especially how, you know, the the whole conflict ends. <laughs> Sora just standing there, like, I don't know. I think Sora, in a way, would kind of ruin that scene. I don't know, it would just be so weird. Like, the way it's written, just sticking another character in there would feel so out of place, you know? Like, in terms of the good guy side, this is very much Luke and Vader's connection there. Having Sora in there, like, wh like what is he going to do? <laughs> you know, like, he's going to start... Is he Like, the thing is, like, I don't want Sora to be helping be the reason why Vader, you know, decides to help his son. Like, I think it's better when it strictly is Luke, uh, you know, tapping into... Not really tapping into, but reaching out to Anakin Skywalker and, you know, getting him to realize the conflict and all that and not wanting him, his son to die be shocked and electrocuted you know trying to show him that he could still do the right thing even though he's done all those bad things throughout all his life or at least the you know order 66 and all that so i wouldn't put sora there even though that would be the most exciting place you know i'll have a, an emperor again like they have an emperor palpatine boss battle uh i mean they, they could have one you know lego star wars had one but again having sora into the boss fight there Fighting, like, well, they'd have to knock Sora out. Like, they have to like throw him into a place away from them at the ending if they want to have like preserve that. Also, th is this how people feel about like the Disney worlds? I haven't watched much Disney, so like, has Sora being around ever like ruined the climaxes of some of the movies or something? Let me know in the comments because I don't know. I've never, you know, maybe this is just what they normally do, and I don't know. But I don't know. I think Sora being there would just be weird. But you know, alternatively, you could put him down on Endor. And you can have them going through shield generator, helping Han Solo and all that, attacking the stormtroopers, fighting them off, getting the help of the Ewoks, and that could be something. That could be kind of cool, I think. Um, I guess they would have some sort of heartless. Maybe like a heartless would be guarding the shield generator or something like that, and you'd have to defeat the heartless. And you know, this would probably be after like they get ambushed and then the Ewoks come in to save the day. But then some heartless spawns in, and Sora's got to take him on. With I guess you'd have Han Solo and Leia. Maybe Wicket is there. But you'd have that and you'd fight Artless and then it would cut over and show what Luke's doing and it would show basically just be a recreation of that stuff. Again, they could have a flying section where you go with Lando, but I mean, I don't know because like it would be cool. It would be a cool moment, but I don't know if I'd really put that as like the climax of the world. I mean, maybe they could if they want to do something different, have a gummy boss. Not really gummy, you know what I mean, but like a ship boss be the ending of that world they could do something they want to change it up and do something different they could do that if something happens maybe like some giant heartless spawns in the death star or something like that uh, I, I think i would just go with the shield generator pick i just go with that and in terms of keyblade obviously star is going to probably get some lightsaber themed obviously you can't get a red lightsaber even though red's his color scheme i mean red is, is evil so you'd probably get like blue or green or 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 even yellow um but i believe yellow was made like temple cards or whatever but, I mean, Ray got it, so... Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, he'd get, like, a blue or green lightsaber. I'd say maybe, like, green. Green and red goes well together, so I'll give him a green lightsaber. 
and have different like it won't just literally be a lightsaber it'd be like a keyblade with a lightsaber on it or a lightsaber beam coming out of it with a crystal and all that so it'll be something like that in terms of like i guess the plot in terms of like the point of this world what's the storytelling going to do for this world for sora because you know kid of mars 3 things like that like to have Sora learn something from them. And I will say, this probably would have been a good world for like KH3 because, you know, they like to have the whole themes of love and this could be like uh, the love between the father and his son. Uh, but obviously, that's not really what's being focused. Well, I mean, maybe it is being focused on KH4. We don't know that, but I think that would be something to highlight. I suppose they could just have something like that again, kind of capping off everything that Sora learned in KH3. Maybe that could be like an early game world. Maybe you can use that later for one of the foretellers, like be like, hey, you still you can still do the right thing. Like you did some, you know, helping the master of masters, did some mess up stuff. You could still do the right thing, you know, you could still help us out. Even then, like Sora kind of already has that philosophy. He wanted Vanitas to join them. So like he would fit in with uh with Luke there with Vader, I suppose. But and definitely like the tone of Star Wars. I mean, I think that Kingdom Hearts definitely has a bit of Star Wars inspiration, especially Birth by Sleep. So I think the tone and all that would fit fine. I doubt there's going to be like some sort of crazy whiplash or anything. It's going to fit in perfectly. The dark, and they got the dark and the light side and the nuances with that. So it's like it fits in perfectly, honestly. Uh, and yeah, of course, with this, I would say that like if you watch my video on like how Disney Worlds might work, maybe to get into this world, you hop into a movie theater. It's probably a movie theater showing return of the jedi you hop in and do whatever and find a way to you know help them out i guess maybe they could have keyholes i'm thinking like there could be a keyhole somewhere around like maybe before the death star explodes there's a keyhole but then that would be weird if there's a keyhole in the death star right so it'd probably be better on endor uh yeah that would, that would fit better anyway I'm, I'm rambling this is a ramble video but i am rambling but yeah that's the thing we we do have a lot of information missing from how this stuff's gonna work so i don't know how it's gonna work but that's i guess my thoughts on star wars being in kingdom hearts specifically episode six because that's what it's looking like uh if a trailer comes out and it's looking like a different episode then i'll talk about that uh, i guess just to get my quick thoughts on that if they were to put something from the prequel era, pre pre prequel era the republic uh i'd I'd put Sora probably within... I, I haven't watched Clone Wars, but I'd probably put him in something in Clone Wars because I think that would be the best way to have Sora, you know, put him in a place where it's the war, you got the Star Wars, you're in the war, but not some place that's like Episode 3 or something where, like, everyone dies. I think that would be such, like, a crazy ending to put for a cage world where just everyone dies and the heroes lose. I wouldn't put that. Um... That'd be hilarious. This is why episode 6 would be a better choice in, like, the prequel era, because just, like, wow, it's some massive stuff. Even, like, episode 2, like, they have to lose against Dooku, and then he gets away, so it's like, I don't know if that really be, would be a good resolution. And then, and then episode 1, it's like, Qui-Gon dies as Darth Maul, and Obi-Wan gets that win. But, you know, he ended up in that position where he's, like, hanging off, so it's like, if he had Sora, he'd have an advantage. It'd be, like, three people jump in Darth Maul. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't think that would really be. I don't know if it would be a good fit. So I'd put something for my Clone Wars, or I'd put Episode Six. In terms of the sequels, I'd put Sora in Episode Seven, probably. I think that ends at a decent point where it's like he helps them out, and it's like, you know, got Ray and all of them. They got a little adventure going on. I mean, it's kind of like Episode Four, but you know, do all that by the end of it. Perhaps you know, let's say at the end fight with Kylo Ren and Ray, a Heartless comes out or something, and you know, Ray and Sora gotta fight him off as the thing departs. Yeah, overall, if they were to put it somewhere within specifically the nine numbered movies, I probably would honestly put episode six. That probably would be the best place to put it. Because those are my rambled thoughts on Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts. Let me know if you guys would want Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts. I did a poll on that, actually. But uh, yeah, so let me guys know what you think, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.